Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure the CREO, how to understand the Config Pro or UI files. But first of all, I would like to thank you for the donation for the new microphone kit for this video tutorial to Peter, to Matthias and Jim. So, thank you for all donation. I will start with understanding of the CREO. If you buy the new license of the CREO, yes, the last version of the CREO is the CREO 7. What does it mean that if you will install the, you are allowed to install CREO 7, no problem. But you can remember that, for example, you are cooperate with your suppliers or colleagues and you can install any kind of the CREO or Pro Engineer. So, Please, for example, like here, I have installed Creo 5. If you would like to know how to install Creo, please check my video tutorials on YouTube channel. Over here, I'd like to focus how to understand the configuration. For example, here, if you install the Creo, you can choose the part where you would like to install, for example, Creo 5 or Creo 7, doesn't matter. The system will create for you the directly automatically the config profile. In this config profile, if I will double click, you can open for example in Notepad, you can create your custom node, so please use this sign and then you can write any comments into config profile. Or for example here, if you don't want to use some configuration option, you can again mark this sign. Yeah. Over here is the couple of examples. For example, if I would like to set up the driving file or I would like to set up the phone directory or start models. The all most used configuration option you can find on 4ksite.com. So please hit my page and over here is all possible configuration options and again most used options. So right now you quickly understand that it is possible to configure Creo by some files and configuration options. What does it mean? The system again use the UI file. What does it mean? I will start from scratch. So if I will select right mouse button, for example, for Creo 5 or Creo 7, doesn't matter, and you will select right mouse button properties, the system will show you where is the installation so target yes so system will automatically run parametric.exe but over here is the setup start in and what does it mean in this folder if you will place your custom options the system will read second file i will show you how it's working so for example doesn't matter we will focus for example i'd like to communicate with my colleagues they are using the creo file so I will start Creo file. If you start Creo, the system will start directly from the config options folder. What does it mean? If you will select this small arrow here, it's options, and you can select the configuration editor. And you can see that is the target is same like the second configuration option. So in this folder, I have a second file. And over here, you can see that I have a lot of configuration option and map keys. But how to start from scratch, yeah? What does it mean? The system reads two files. The first one is from the default, what you have seen in the minutes ago. And then, second one is from the target. But I'd like to show you maybe it's from scratch, so I will close the Creo. I will select new target, yeah? So start in. Sorry, target is always same. Where is the start in? I have prepared the empty folder. What does it mean? I'd like to use the C user 4K Creo and this one will be empty. I will apply, I will confirm OK and then I will start Creo again. You can see right now the system start and for example the window is maximized and if I will would like to see a couple of icons is not possible to see it here. What does it mean? You can select file option and then you can select the configuration editor. 
Right now I can see only one config pro file. What does it mean? At the background, in the start, start in, you can see the system creates for me the trail file. That in the trail files is everything written what I select. What does it mean? I will show you later in next tutorials. But let's start with your custom options. So what does it mean? I will close Creo again. And we would like to create the, for example, in the last video tutorial, you have seen that you can use the enable obsolete feature and allow anatomic features to yes. And these two configuration options, I'd like to store in the new config.profile. What does it mean? We will create here new file. config.pro and over here I'd like to place new configuration options and what does it mean we would like to see for example inside patch yeah okay everything is ready I can start create one more time and we can check again if we will select file option and then select configuration editor you see that right now the system read information from the folder start in. What does it mean? What is written here in the config profile? The system automatically read as the second config profile for the session. If you would like to add some additional configuration option, you can found over here, for example, open and try to found open and for example, you would like to file open default view as the list, or you can try to have a look. You have always description what is there. You can use some additional configuration options. Again, you can try, for example, window and so on. So what does it mean? You can set up your custom config file and set how the system will looks like and what to do. And you can specify, for example, datum plane. Yeah. And again, you can choose what is possible to with the datums, features, and so on and so on. Yes. Yeah. So again, in the drop down menu, you are allowed to select. And over here is the information what the system will do if you will set this description. If you put the add, the system will automatically add this value here. Yeah. And then if you come from OK, the system asks you if you would like to save it. I don't want to ask this question again in this session, so you can confirm yes. And again, you can confirm which configuration file will be changed. What does it mean? If I will select right now this config profile, it's a three options here. Or you can do it opposite. You can visit the web page for ksa.com. On this web page, you can jump into configuration, customization, config pro and select which version you would like to change. Or you can jump into most used options and then you can have a look what I used mostly. And for example, if we will jump here, option open window maximized, I like it. I can change it directly again in Creo, file option and configuration editor you can add and then you can for example open maximize and set to yes if you come from ok you see the different icon here what does it mean this one this option is applied automatically and this option is applied if you will restart the creo so i will save it or you can export yes so i will only come from ok and then you need to restart Creo. Right now you can see that is the gap here. It was not open maximized, but if I will restart Creo, it will be open maximized. I will run Creo one more time. And you can see right now that system run Windows maximized. If I will create new 3D model or drawing, for example, doesn't matter. For example, assembly, set the name, confirm OK. And again, the system open window maximized. So I like it.